we are here for the second um, interviews. Yeah, we have Jojo now as well. Yeah, and she's good. She's joining now. Yeah, that's it. Hey! Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? You can okay? you hear me? I think the connection... There we are. I think that's better. Okay, so you, yeah, you're, you, you're listening to me okay, right? Yeah, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, that's better. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just going to change at least a little bit because I think I'm just, um, yeah, that should be fine. I think Yeah, because I think I was just um, covering the microphone. Ah, uh, there we are. Yeah, so you, you hear me okay now, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much for for joining, for doing this. That's okay. This Thanks for having me. You. <laughs> Sorry? Thanks for having me. Well, <laughs> any any time, any time. I was well. I started following Winlet's here um, a long time ago, and I just loved when I when I saw all the um, all the events you were doing in Cardiff. I couldn't attend to anyone because I I ended well. I used to to finish work around eight in Swansea, so we're like, no way you can attend. <laughs> Too late. Um, yeah. <laughs> you have to come to some future um, ones in Swansea. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully. Um, you'll be back uh, up and running soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. good. Also, you have, you have an event, so uh, if you want to share that with us. Well, I've got a pad standard paddle boarding, but that's fully booked. I've got a surfing event, actually, in Aberavon, on Aberavon Beach, on, oh gosh, I can't even remember the date now, I think 23rd of May. So oh, nice. Any surf. women fancying some surfing, please come and join. You can come and join that one if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm just staying now. <laughs> huh? I'm in Spain. You're in Spain? Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe not then. <laughs> next one, next one, probably. Oh, no. yeah. If you keep doing that all of the summer, I'll, I'll, I'll be back um, yeah. in June. So, yeah. Oh, Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to join if you, if you keep doing them. Yeah. Um, yes. So, well, as I was saying, thank you so much for, for doing these interviews. And I was saying also in the post, uh, I love your profile, the way you picture maternity. It's just really, it's just really nice because you say like in such a nice, uh, fresh way, with a really good sense of humor and and just talking things that normally people don't hear about when when they're about to be um, a mother and that's really necessarily. So yeah, when I was thinking about the interviews, like I I hope she said yes because <laughs> I love she that you share um, your perspective of, of maternity and also your relationship with exercise because well you know um, women move beyond is focused on on exercise that's my background as well yeah so i try to keep women fit during and after their pregnancy i know i wish i'd known about you when i was pregnant <laughs> yeah well i was doing because your baby girl is nine she's months. one now just gone one yeah she's one yeah i didn't i didn't catch you in a hospital no no but, yeah well that, it that was in the, the middle of full-on lockdown so when i gave birth yeah, but I, I used to recruit women for my research project uh, at 12 weeks. Oh, oh probably because I was in Cardiff, I think, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was doing everything in Singleton Hospital. Ah. Uh, oh, well, yeah. next time, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, sometimes there's always a second time, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now you know me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, well... Just before we go into the um, into the proper interview, I would like you to introduce yourself. Please tell our our women who you are and what do you do. Well, I'm Georgia, also known as Jojo, whatever. Um, I run a lot of women's sports events, so I try and get women doing lots of outdoor activities. And I became a mum 
a year ago in the middle of lockdown. So I've got a little baby girl, which isn't really a baby anymore. She's more becoming a toddler, pretty much. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I've always, I've always loved being active and being outdoors, and um, I've always enjoyed it. It's always been part of my lifestyle. So I'm trying to carry that on now. <laughs> Yeah, good. So, well, I'm just going to go with my first question. Yeah. Which is, well, you just said, like, uh, you've been almost quite active. So my first question is, which is your, your relationship with exercise? So, yeah, I've always, like, done lots of sports, but I've always enjoyed it. So I've always... You know, before even I got pregnant, I was whether going, you know, going to the gym or swimming or surfing, lots of my events or activities. So I'd sort of have fun doing that, whether it was climbing. Um, I used to be a snowboard athlete. That was my sport. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I've always enjoyed it. It's never I've never seen it as a chore. So when I got pregnant, I, I had in mind that I wanted to try and carry that on. So, yeah, I've always I've always been involved in yeah, it. Yeah, so it's something that has been always in your life and yeah you become pregnant and you don't think like why should I stop yeah um, yeah so did you have any any reference when you got pregnant about what you can do related to exercise not really no so when I got pregnant um I mean I asked the GP you know what can I can I carry on doing any sports and she said yeah you can carry on doing whatever you do already don't try anything new but that was that was about it, really. So I carried on. Well, the first trimester, I was so sick and ill that I didn't want to do anything. Uh, but when I felt started feeling better, then I sort of I think I was going to the gym a little bit. Um, but I was I was so unsure of what to do. I sort of stopped then really going to the gym. I carried on doing walks and whatnot. But I didn't have one person that pointed me out saying you've got to do this. I then joined some aquanatal classes and some pregnancy yoga and that was sort of it really um and then I just kept active by walking and whatnot but I didn't yeah. have someone like you <laughs> telling me <laughs> what you can or can't do I don't know you know had I had someone telling me maybe a bit more structure I might have carried on going to the gym or doing other activities I don't know got to a certain yeah. point I was like do I should I even be squatting do I want you know things like that so I, I yeah like that. you yeah you want you want to do what you know that it's safe. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, and sometimes it's, it's just a really shame because then when when I talk to people about exercise during pregnancy and I tell them what kind of things a pregnant woman can do, they're like, oh, really? They can do that? And when you think about it, some of the things is like yeah. normal stuff that we do. But obviously, if no one reassures that to you, you don't know. Exactly. It's so hard to, to just go on your own, uh, in your own yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially in this in this kind of special time when you yeah. normally rely on your on your healthcare providers. Yeah. So well, hopefully things things will go will go change. Hopefully, yeah. That, that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's an advice that they normally say like just do whatever you were doing before. But it's like, well, what if I used to climb? Exactly. I cannot yeah, carry on with that. I cannot. You, oh no, no, no! You shouldn't do that. It's too dangerous. You know. So it's yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> so, well, I can. I can. First, yeah. because well, I might fall, and then because of the space, I just yeah. Ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, so by the time you were you were active, there were anything that you liked doing, anything that you enjoyed. I really enjoyed. I did the aquanatal classes, and that was so good. Especially, I managed to go quite until I think like the end of my third trimester, and then they stopped because of lockdown. But that was so nice, just because you know, it was a way of being active, and it, the water takes your weight off. Oh yeah, so, yeah. You know, then really you nice want to leave the pool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know you stand up the pool, and you're oh my god, I feel like a whale. But um, yeah, it was just nice to be active in the water. I really enjoyed that. Pregnancy yoga yeah, was nice as well. Yeah, um, were, were there more more girls in the group? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so how, how did you feel also, I mean, because you said like it was nice to be active, but how did you feel being with more pregnant women? Yeah, it was good to be part of, you know, sort of a, a community. It's funny enough, I've bumped into a few people that I met at the Aquanator as well, so that was nice. Yeah, this is, well, something I really like to do. I mean, for women who are used to work out on their own, sometimes it doesn't make so much of a difference, but, but just being surrounded with more pregnant women and... And feeling like okay, I can share this. And yeah, exactly. You can like share in your a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if I say like I hate when the baby starts kicking, no one is gonna look at you like 
Why yes. is he saying that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, no. so that, yeah. So, yeah, good, good point. Um, being active also with, with more women. I wanted to ask you as well, uh, whether you found any barriers or any support to be active during your pregnancy. Did I have any support or? Yes. Yeah, well, both. Did you have, did you found any barriers or whether you had support, like you're kind of the opposite? I mean, probably, the, I, I don't, I don't really know. There wasn't really much, like, like I said, at the GP, you sort of, you know, that's the only information. I did research quite a bit online. I found like YouTube videos, if you like, you know, stuff like that. But postnatal period, I think that's probably the worst. There is, oh. I found there was certain, like no information. No one tells you anything um, about exercising. Again, I yeah. researched that. Um, even just like ab separation. I don't think anybody mentioned that to me. I just found out about it talking to people and like online, I think. Or, you know, following people like yourself that might talk about it on Instagram. Um, but like getting fit after having a baby is something that no one ever spoke to me about. Which is great. Yeah. Apart from my mum. My, my mum, I couldn't believe it. Years ago when she gave birth, like 30 odd years to my brother, um, she said after you had a baby in hospital, you'd have a physio going around with like a piece of paper telling you exactly like what exercises to do. Like really basic core workout, which I learned to do thanks to you two. Um, but wow. if not, I never had that information off the midwives or, or the health. Yeah, it's funny how for some things, it's like we, we've been going backwards. Yeah. Well, there's always been a concern around being active during pregnancy, but I see like some people, um, I used to talk to midwives a lot in Spain as well, and they were saying, oh, like, we never said women not to move or to exercise. We were like, yeah, especially kind of like things, walking or, but they were encouraging women always to move and yeah. also in the postnatal period. And I know before, at least in Singleton, well, I don't know if it was in the whole NHS, but midwives and women's health pieces, they used to work together and they don't do that anymore. And it's like, why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why? why and there's so many <laughs> basic exercises, isn't there, that you can do just from like lying down, breathing, starting to work on your core, you know, gently that no one yeah. knows about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just ba super basic little things that you can do just lying down. Like, it's not yeah. like you have to just have a baby and just straight away. Grab yeah, a, exactly. Grab a kettlebell. We are not saying that. But yeah. you said all these basic, basic things. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite interesting. And I was talking about that with, with Robin in the first interview. That during pregnancy, you have lots of support. Like, you have lots of uh, appointments with your midwife. Well, maybe for you, it was a little bit, little bit different because you used, you experienced the lockdown and all the COVID. Yeah. Where, obviously, healthcare was... Um, little bit not as good as before um but then afterwards you birth sort of and then, then it's like bye yeah 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 you're left yeah you're completely left on, on like i was quite baby. lucky i think i did have a six-week checkup which lots of people i know had a baby at similar time didn't have but again the doctor never checked if i had um ab separation or never even mentioned it so afterwards, I thought, oh, gosh, I want to start doing different workouts. But she never checked. So I did it myself. But... Yeah. yeah. How, how did you feel when you found about it and, and you felt like that's something important? Well, I was like, oh, God, for a start, how do I check? Because the doctor didn't do it. So I, I researched how to check basically yourself. And luckily, I don't think I had it. But then I thought, gosh, if I do have it, what do I do then? You know, but yeah yeah because well you know that's something that you have to take care about um, yeah exactly so. yeah that's yeah that's a little bit of <laughs> of a shame so how did you start being active postnatally well I think I started again because my mum was like you can start doing really you know local workout so I researched again I found some videos on YouTube I think I followed um I'm not sure maybe like the week after giving birth when I felt a little bit better but again I mean just basic exercises like lying down, breathing, focusing on my core, pelvic floor exercises, maybe moving my leg. It might be just like five minutes and then it built up. You know, after five minutes, I might be exhausted. <laughs> but yeah. um, well, you have to realize having a baby is hard. So if you find five, mi five minutes, yeah, exactly. Minutes. And that's how I started. And then maybe I built it up to 10 minutes and then just 
you know followed how I felt really um and then I think when I was like four months pregnant I had a surfing event <laughs> um so I went surfing and that was good actually I took my time I think that's the main thing isn't it just listening to your body and thinking I can do this or I can't if I can't whatever I'll just stand on the side yeah, um, yeah. especially because well you're going to be tired you have lots of things to do so when you do exercise just go and enjoy it don't push it yes off. don't think like oh i should be doing an hour why am i not doing an hour uh I exactly should be doing this. Like, well, just go and enjoy if it's just doing 10 minutes or half an hour or just go surfing and just catch a couple of waves yeah exactly you know? i think it's important not to stress out about it and see it as a chore you know yeah if anything something <laughs> i couldn't believe how how weak I was. I've always been quite strong and I just couldn't believe how I completely lost all of my muscle. You know, you're like, oh my gosh. You know, that really shocked yeah. me. Yeah, but. yeah. In, in the postnatal period, it's quite, well, it's quite common because you probably don't do, like, I don't want to say that, but, well, and you yeah. just do the same exercise as you did before. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. For at least three months. So obviously your, your muscles are... Not as strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then if you think about how much strength work you didn't do in during pregnancy um because in the end it's like if you don't do any exercises nine months of yeah. maybe just light walking and yeah well, exactly your muscles have to eat that like they need the they need the strength work yes. and then if you put on top all the three months in the postnatal period until you start going being active again it's kind of a year yeah. without doing the same type of activity so, no absolutely so I think that was part of me as well. I just went to slowly rebuild my strength. But I'm quite glad I did it. I can't remember now. I think it was about a week after, you know, just sort of yeah, basically. That's quite, that's quite soon as well. Maybe a few <laughs> weeks. I don't know. Maybe two, three weeks. I don't know. But I remember it being fairly, you know, soon where I just sort of lay down. And I thought, right, I'm going to try five minutes. Even like just breathing. I realize there's so many breathing exercises that you can do, you know, for your core. So. Yeah, yeah, it's like like you have to kind of relearn how to breathe. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's, this is amazing. It's like, well, we all breathe, we all breathe. Yeah, but yeah. Suddenly, it's like, well, now I have to kind of yeah um, relearn how to do it because obviously there's lots of changes. Yeah, and and this is going to impact your your abdominal wall as well and your pelvic floor. So it's important to know how to yeah how to keep breathing. So. Uh, yeah, another question about because well now half past we have gone through the postnatal period through the pregnancy sorry we are now in the postnatal. Um, how was your normal routine when you wanted to be active? Um, what kind of things did you do? Well, especially well or maybe like now or a few months before because in the beginning you say it was just a couple of things. Yeah, well now do you mean how I like keep active now yes. <laughs> when I can <laughs> so I, now and again I try doing it with my baby around which is doable but I mean maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes you know she ends up on top of me half the time if I do it. <laughs> so that's really tricky as well uh, but probably the easiest because by the time she's in bed in that night I'm quite tired but recently only recently I've managed I've managed to do a few when she's go to bed like when she's gone to bed in the evenings so that's been quite good and I've done like a, a almost an hour like ex like which has been the longest I've done in probably a year you know before it's always been like 50 minutes 20 minutes max you know maybe half an hour if you're lucky um but I now I find it harder to do it with her around but she copies me now, so that's great. Oh, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing when they do that. Like, <laughs> it's, so leg up. it's so funny. So yeah, I'll try doing it if she's around. If not, if it's too hard work, I'll try doing it when she's in bed. But yeah, it's just... Yeah, and, that, and that's, that's hard as well because, well, when she... Well, I'm, I'm talking about, about your baby girl, but normally when they go to bed or when they nap, sometimes you just... You're too tired. Like, I just want to sleep as well. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I'll try to maybe five, even if it takes five minutes when she's around. I found some like five minute uh, high intensity training <laughs> session. So um, yeah, whenever yeah, yeah, works. Yeah, really. Now that she's nine months, it's it's okay to do kind of um, a little bit high intensity. But obviously yeah. in the beginning, it's like yeah, yeah, take it yeah. easy. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I want, I, let, let's see if I find the question. I just had it in my head and it, it 
went. Um, okay. Oh yeah, those days because well, there's as we were saying before, for example, when the baby sleeps and, and you think, oh, should I exercise? Or those days where you didn't have any motivation at all, oh. what pushed you to be active? Well, sometimes I might just sit down and be like, do you know what, I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but probably the times I thought, okay, I've got to get up and do it. I don't know, probably because I know that once I've done it, whether that be, you know, five, 10 minutes, whatever, I think it makes you feel better, you know, it will make you feel healthier, stronger, and just a feel good factor. I think that probably motivates me to think, okay, you've got to get up and do it because you will feel better. And I feel like, like sometimes the less you do, the more you feel lethargic and tired. So sometimes even just doing five, 10 minutes might give you a bit more energy. But I do think at the beginning when you're really tired, if you just can't do it, just no stress, go to bed and sleep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well it's better. Yeah. I always ask in the in the postnatal group, I always ask ask moms, how did you sleep? Um if they say, Well, today was okay, but if it was like horrible night, like no sleeping at all, you're like, Well, just take it easy today, like just do whatever you can yeah. do because yeah, obviously you're not gonna enjoy the class that much. You're gonna feel like you're not doing enough and that that's not the point. Just yeah. So as yeah, exactly. before, just enjoy <laughs> if you do fifteen minutes, enjoy if you do thirty, enjoy it as well. Yeah, exactly. I think the most important thing is to try and enjoy it, isn't it? Like not to make it feel like a chore. And at the end of the day, even if you just go out for a walk, you're being active, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 I think we, yeah, we really have to be mindful with, with, with moms and, and acknowledge, oh my God, everything that you do. Like it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many things it's, it's a, it's, yeah it's pretty amazing <laughs> yeah it's like I was telling to Robin well, it's like when I see that when I, well, when I see all of you it's like how how do you do it it is amazing it is it is really amazing like everyone should be um honoring you it's true that's mine. how how, <laughs> how I, I feel know. um I know we have to go kind of finishing because I know you have to you have to leave soon <laughs> so um the last just the last few questions yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you like to know uh when you were pregnant or in your postnatal period uh regarding exercise probably like we sort of touched on it at the beginning but i guess um maybe a bit more specifics about what what you can do you know you were saying earlier like whether I don't know, for example, whether it be squatting or doing squats or what kind of exercises, is it safe to do and up until what point, you know? So you have a bit more guidance in that sense. And similar with postnatally, like when can you, after you've had a baby, at what point can you start doing exercise, you know? Yeah. And what type of exercise? Because I think some people... I've spoken to don't actually realize that you've got to build your core from the inside out rather than just put Sick your running shoes and go for a run, you know? Yeah. So I think yeah. a lot of people don't realize like, where do I start? What do I do? Oh, I used to do this. I'm just going to go back to doing this. Uh, yeah. Or sometimes, yeah. Or sometimes it's like, well, I just wait for six weeks, eight, eight weeks. And yes. I just go back to what I was doing before. It's like, no, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I think like, when when exactly can I start because I don't really know myself I just sort of went with what I thought <laughs> or felt you know uh, but I did take it easy so I just guess a bit more specific information as to what is safe as well when you are pregnant as well because you don't want to yeah, you yeah. know you don't want to be you don't want to be injuring yourself and you don't want to be doing anything that might be dangerous to the baby you know like a, a, a yep. yoga what positions for example you know, might yeah, not be a like, good yeah, idea. Yeah, and stunts, things like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Good. So that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and there's something um, you would like to tell women who are pregnant now or who are just transitioning to their postnatal period, something that you would have liked someone would have told you. Definitely. Pregnant. One reminder, people told me this all the time, but I think everybody needs reminding, do your pelvic floor muscles. No. <laughs> um, but I just guess, I think if you 
you're not into sports or activity, because some people think, oh, fitness, ugh, you know, I don't want to do it. I think it's really important to just find something that you enjoy and, you know, make it something that is fun and that you can do and that will make you feel better. Because I think any sort of activity will make you feel better, yes. you know. And I think the more you're active, the, the probably the healthier lifestyle you eat. You know, you, you tend to eat different foods, um, so, you know, we all want to try and be as healthy as we can when you're pregnant. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think just find something and don't stress out. Like after you've had a baby, don't stress out that you've got to get a figure back, you know, because that's what we see a lot of, isn't it? Lots of maybe celebrities you see online. Two yeah, it's like, the baby. yeah, a week after they're like, Bellies disappeared and, you know, it's just like, um, that's not really that realistic. It might be for some people. Uh, but they might have like a personal trainer 24 seven, you know, so it's important. Yes, or, or, or surgery. So yes, exactly. <laughs> so I think no, no pressure and just take your time, listen to your body and just get in touch with people like you. <laughs> so you can guide them. <laughs> but it's true. You know, it's, a lot of people have messaged me when, you know, I was in the like first few months after having a baby. So many people don't actually have a clue as to what exercises they can do. So they end up not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, you ended up just waiting until baby's yeah. five, six months. Yeah. And then you think like, okay, I'm, I'm all fine again now that I feel my energy back. I feel maybe I'm sleeping a little bit more and I can just do whatever I want. It's like, well, but how's your perfect floor? How, how are your apps? Is there any other thing that we need to know? So yeah, yeah obviously the, the basics are always there. And In fact, I, I have a question for you. I've just thought now. Sure. <laughs> At what point, because I still don't know the answer, I've tried asking people and researching it, um, and I still haven't done any sit-ups, you know, like a, a crunch. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never, that's interesting. Never. <laughs> because I've not, I've not actually done it, and I've joined recently some fitness classes that I used to do before I was pregnant, and I mean, I'm one year postnatal, and all the exercises I feel safe, but there was one the other day that was um, sit-ups, and I thought, I'm not going to do that, just in case. No, I, I will never do seat ups and I, I i have no kids okay that's interesting so it's just an exercise i mean you have to really know the technique and the breathing to do it if you want to do it yeah I, think, I mean it, there's one thing if you for example if you do pilates or yoga sometimes you do that type of movement yes yeah it's a bit different and you can like well no seat ups but if i do pilates i can do um a roll up from lying down which is exactly the same. The yeah, same but thing. the breathing is part of it. A it's lot, the breathing it? and the way you engage your abs. But even though you know the technique, it's a really high, we call it hyperpressive exercises because mm. they impose loads of pressure on your pelvic floor and on your abs. Mm. But if you, you can try and do them. I mean, yeah, you can try and do them and see what you feel on your pelvic floor. Right, yeah. You probably the you probably feel the pressure going down towards yeah. the pelvic floor. So you can you can try and do that. Because for example, I do now with my postnatal moms, we do crunches, but we follow a specific technique. Yeah. And for most of them, they've been training with me for more than six, seven months, and we are doing now um, crunches, but okay. a type of a specific crunch, and it's yeah. just a crunch. You can even sit up. Um, I don't do sit ups for for myself when I work out yeah so oh, so yeah go. the answer probably is never <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll just carry I'm on sorry <laughs> <laughs> so yeah probably there are people hating me now but, no yeah. I think it's important but, you know things like this some people might think oh I used to do sit-ups before well, you know what's stopping me from doing it now you know yeah. just things like that so many other yeah. exercises yeah there, there are a few things like I wouldn't recommend, but for anyone, not only specifically for pregnant or postnatal women. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to give it a try, just to, for you to understand and feel why I'm saying that no one should do them. Yeah, um, I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Let you and know. Actually, uh, thank you for for your time. For that's okay. Thank you. I could probably ask you a million questions the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. If you want, we can organize uh, one in the other way. Yeah. Um, I'll be happy to to answer anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's be interesting. Yeah, being the one not, not asking the questions. So, well, you know, this will be um, in a few weeks. I will finish the whole the whole interview, so everyone who wasn't in the in the live part will have the opportunity to see you and and to see how you stay active through 
and you are still being active through motherhood, so I'm sure it, it's going to help lots of women um, yeah. out there. Fab. So, well, thank okay. you so much. I, I can, can I call you Jojo? Yeah, yeah, yeah call yeah. me whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for your time um, and thank your you. evening. And for anything that you need regarding the exercise, please get oh, in touch. Brill. Thank you. Okay, thank awesome you so job. much. Have a nice evening. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.